Okay, everybody, episode three, I think. <laughs> um, so we're going to do some more wands. These are going to be with the chenille stems or pipe cleaners, however you want to call them. I get them from all different places. I have a pretty big collection now, just like the cupcake liners. So I did show these in a previous video, the same video that I mentioned earlier with the rosettes that I created. Um, and I showed you that I had made these guys. So... Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to try and do this this one here, but all you do is take three different colored um, chenille stems and you could use these kinds too, the um, tinsel type, and just kind of roll them and, and get them all together like this. You could even braid them. I've done that before. So I made this heart with the full length of the stems and I'm going to be attaching it to this. And I had made some <clears throat> words and I just made love and I'm going to be adding that to that and I got the idea of that from Tammy SS Crafter 1. <clears throat> she actually sent me that in, for, um, in a Christmas package. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to be putting together one with just three different colored stems here. And then the last one I think I'm just going to take this pour here. I think I'm going to take the, if I can get a hold of this, <clears throat> these three and then make a separate one. They're not all going to go together. I just wanted to get some of these out of the way. And with these here that I had made also that are tight, I'm actually going to do glossy accents and dip them in glitter. I'll, <clears throat> excuse me, if I got time I'll do it on this video, but We'll see what happens. <coughs> I'm sorry. Too much yapping. All right. So let me just start with the easier ones first. And I had already decided which straws I'm going to use. And I get them from everywhere. Tuesday morning, Dollar Tree, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't think I picked up any at Joann's yet. So these particular ones are a wider twirl and I just did these on my finger simply went with the straight one it went around my finger and just kind of pulled it out like that okay and I kind of left this part kind of straight there so I did that to all of these this one got a little bit messed up so let's try to do that again and they're just a looser coil and I think this one's fine so, simply going to take the three. You could cut these down if you like. I might do it after the fact, just after I've finished my loaded pockets or envelopes, whatever I'm going to make, and I put these in and see if they're too long or not. So I'm going to just leave them like this. So you should be able to fit three in the straw. You could test it out, and that does fit, okay? But you just... I'm going to hold this at the same time that I'm holding my straw. Just put a little bit, of course I'm not getting this glue going here. <clears throat> this new glue gun is a little more um, harder to squeeze. Okay, and get those in there with the glue in there. I like to get them in as far as I can go and then you're done and then you could um, shape it any way you like if you want to you know have them go in different directions or keep them all together <clears throat> um, I don't know yet if with this one I'm going to add to it but you can add something like this to it which would be cute or just leave it or add a bow I might just leave this simple and plain so it's just tucked in. You could cut your straw shorter too if you want to put this in like a short pocket. Hey, but anyway, this one is done. I'll put this, let's put this up here for now. And then this one's going to be the same thing, but this is with the tinsel stems. Okay, and they're actually a little tighter. They're more um, straight, I guess you could say. Just need a longer stem here. <clears throat> this is going to go on my gold straw and I don't mind mixing gold and silver together if these were all going to go together but I don't know yet this particular set I'm just 
making just to have. So, oops, I forgot my straw. Again, just put some glue. If I can get this squeezed, why is it so hard? Get it in there, right in the hole. And get these things in. It might be hard to get all three sometimes, but there you go. Go in about, I think about this much would do, just in case. And oh, I love this one. This would be great for a New Year's thing, but yeah, that's so fun. <clears throat> okay, so we got that one, and now this one's going to be a little more elaborate. Um, when you do make your heart, if you do that, instead of just having three that you're going to stick in there, now you got to have six, um, a thickness of six of these. So you want to kind of pull it and make sure it's thin enough to fit in that hole. And I had to do that. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> and you can make a smaller version of this too. So now let's do it again. Some glue in here. I don't know why I can't squeeze this today. Maybe it's just the glue is a little harder than usual. And I'm going to get that all the way down to that point there. And then we're going to stick on this. And you can put anything. I just thought it would be cute to use both chenille. Just the tinsel on top of the fuzzy type. So it shows. <clears throat> okay. So let's see. Where is it going to go exactly? About there. I'm going to leave it in place and just put a dot. If this will work for me. I think it's the type of glue because I had this gun on for hours already. Put that side and then over here it's going to be in two spots. I'm just having a hard time squeezing this for some reason. And then one up here. Ugh. Okay, well, just in case. Get that down. <laughs> Alright, so now we have love. And then this is where I'm going to use my tool. I thought I wanted to do it a little more fancy. And we're actually going to tie this on. This is actually a wider tool. Let me show you the spool. Not quite sure where I got it. I think I got it at the thrift store. But this is a wide spool. And I just cut a length of it. And I left the thickness just for some fullness. So I'm going to do it tight and get it up there. Okay. And... this way <clears throat> and make a bow I suck at making bows even when it's big okay okay so kind of shape your bow first before you fluff it we are going to just kind of undo it so it it'll fluff up <laughs> and you get like a nice little fluffy bow and then I'm going to even out this tail <clears throat> I never can get the tails even when I'm making my bows. One side's always longer than the other. Okay, and also fluff that. I love all the extra tool. I think my knot's all messed up. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> I think that's better. Yes. 
And there we go. And I don't mind that it's kind of covering up the word love. You can still see through it. You know it's there. Um, you could put a little something here. I don't want to go too crazy adding stuff. Um, let's see. Because I think too many hearts. Yeah, it's too much. Too much. I think just like that. And it should stay in place, but you can always add like a dollop of glue. I wanted to go around so that the back was also covered with the tool. So there is that. Another thing you could do is just cut strips in this so you just have a lot of little pieces. Even here. To make it more frilly. But there you go. There's that. Oh, I didn't want to get glue there. I forgot to use my mat. There's that set of straw wands all right so i think we'll just end it there and i'll do the no actually i'll just do it on here let's put you to the side i'm not going to make wands with this but i'm going to show you how i sugar them up i guess you could say do you want to use this i think i need a scrap paper Okay, sorry guys. I just I, I went and got a new bottle of glue because this one's just about out, and I'm not gonna fight with that. Um, I had this in my stash. I didn't go out and buy it just for this video, but I have my glue. I got my things. I got a paper towel just so I can pour the stuff. So there's three options here. Um, we got diamond dust. I had picked this up a while ago and. I think I found this one at AC Moore, but I'm sure they sell it everywhere. I've had this for a long time. And it just looks like crushed, really teeny tiny crushed glass, which I think it may or may not be glass. I don't know. Got that. Got this one, which is Stampendous Frontage Multi Crystal Glitter Mix. Um, Hobby Lobby, $7.99, but I did use a coupon or it was on sale that day. And this has a little more white in it, so I don't know if I'm going to use this one or not. I might. And I've had all of these for a long time. I don't use them that much. Um, so, and then this one, sorry, I should have showed you what this is. This is Dry Stickles, um, Distress Stickles. And it is, I think, yeah, it's Ranger. So... And this is the one that just reminds me of sugar. So I think I like this one better. And you see the difference already. Okay, so um, usually when I make tiny embellishments, I just leave everything in here. And I just kind of, say I was going to do these little hearts, I would just dip it in. I would have tweezers, dip it in, and then take it out. But I got these long pieces here. So I'm going to, and this is why I have this out here. I'm just going to pour quite a bit in length so that it would fit and put this away for now and then I'm going to I'm going to pull a long piece here that would be the part that would if I was to put this in a straw that would be the part that goes in there but I don't know if this is going to go in a straw or not this might just be an embellishment and it might be too long for what I'm thinking uh, I'm just going to leave them that way. I can always make more. Wow, it is raining hard. I didn't expect that. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. I already said that already. <laughs> okay, so I'm leaving this part so I can hold it. This is the part you won't see whether you stick it in a straw or if you put it in an arrangement. You're not going to see it. So... And I like to use glossy accents for this. I've never tried any other glue, so you can try whatever glue you would like. And we are just going to... I'm just going to put it on there any which way. And then I'm going to kind of smear it with my fingers. See, it's getting everywhere, but that's okay. This is why I wanted to use a brand new bottle because the other one I'd probably be squeezing a lot. Okay, so put the lid back on because these tips dry. 
I'm just going to kind of smear some of it. This takes a little longer to dry, so you have time. I should have taken out of the paper towel, though. Let me get quickly. All right, dip it in. Let's try to get some of that glue off. I don't want it all over me. Why did I do it that way? Okay, so you kind of try to press it in there. And you see, it kind of changes the color, too. That's why I didn't use that white one. Because I still want to see that there's red under there. Okay, so that's the first one. And you can kind of separate it a little more if you like. So you're just going to put that aside and let it dry. And these are going to be my sugared little coily thingies. And I'm just going to do one more. I'll do one where you can see the color, I guess. I don't know why my stomach's growling. If you want to squeeze out a whole bunch of glue onto something and then just roll it in, you can. But I don't want to waste this glue. That's why I'm doing it like this. But I do want to make sure that there's enough glue so that I can spread it all around. And then do that. And dip it into your sugar. And that is it. Just let them dry and then you're done. The pink always looks the prettiest for me. Get a little closer. Alright, so that's the end of the um, episode for my chenille stems. The wands and these things. You'll see these later on probably in some other projects. Um, just wanted to show you how I do those. And I'm probably, since I'm already messing with this, I'm probably going to do some uh, die cuts that I want to dip in this stuff since it's already out. Which I, since I already have all this stuff out, so um, I'll be back. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.